Everybody, welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Sophia. If you guys are new here, welcome to my channel. If you guys are not new here, hi. How are you guys? I missed you. I hope you guys enjoyed my last video of me decorating for Halloween. I'm sorry it was such a short one. I actually have some new decorations, so I will be doing a part two of this video like I told you guys before. But tonight, I have a really special thing planned and I hope you guys really enjoy it. I am going to be cooking for the kind of first time on my channel. I've showed you guys like a couple recipes, but this is a whole dedicated cooking show for you guys because it is my anniversary with my mans and we've been together for a million long years. So I decided to cook his favorite healthy meal. So any moms, wives, oh my baby. <laughs> any moms, any wives, any girlfriends, any boyfriends, any husbands that really want to cook something healthy, easy, really good for their man or a woman. Please keep watching. If that sounds good to you guys, keep watching. Basically, I'm making these sweet potato chicken boats. They're so, so good, so easy to make. I always get compliments on anybody that tries them. They're so easy, you guys, and really, really healthy. They have some veggies in there. They got your protein and they got your carbs. So if you guys are trying to eat healthy but you want to impress your man or woman or your kids with a good meal, then please keep watching and I'll show you guys how to make it. So to make things super easy for you guys, I wanted to lay out all my ingredients and everything I'm going to be using today. Please excuse my old granite countertops and my kitchen is a little dated, but you know, your girl is really working on it. Whoo, it's dark. Your girl is really working on it. I will be remodeling my kitchen really soon, you guys. I know I say that all the time. You're like, girl, where is it? But I really am going to be. So anyways, you guys, my recipe ingredients that you guys will need before following this tutorial some boneless, skinless chicken. So basically I bought this one from Sprouts. You can get it anywhere, obviously. I just like the boneless, skinless and I butterfly it and chop it up. I am going to be using, oh, this one's kind of yellow, but I'm gonna be using a couple Serranos, probably one or two for Derek's because he really likes spicy foods. This is optional, you guys, if your man or woman or kids really like spicy stuff. This is chili garlic sauce. I got this from the Asian supermarket, super bomb. I'm gonna actually add this, you guys will see, to Derek's, probably not mine because I don't really like this stuff very much. One avocado, an onion. I like to add a little bit of tomato, so one tomato. Some minced garlic, you guys can use fresh garlic if you would like and mince it yourself. And then also some light sour cream. I have this sprouts cheddar jack cheese and just a couple of spices here. I like this garlic and herb spice. Usually I use Mrs. Dash, but I'm totally out. And of course some cilantro and two sweet potatoes. So I am going to cheat and put some holes in these sweet potatoes and actually just pop them in the microwave just because they take forever in the oven. So yeah, so basically that's all you guys need to get started. So go grab your ingredients, grab your cutting board, grab your knife and meet me here. So step one, you guys, of course, is always going to be wash your chicken, okay? Your chicken is dirty and not your friend. So you guys want to go ahead and wash your chicken because we are going to get ready to pop this on the stove and cook it up. So let's rinse our chicken. are going to start step number two, you guys. I'm just gonna go through and kind of butterfly this chicken a little bit because I really just cannot stand thick chicken. And basically we are just preparing this for the 
boats. So at the end of this tutorial, you guys are gonna have sweet potato boats with shredded, or I like to kind of just dice it up, diced chicken in the middle, um, mixed up with everything, so good. Kind of like twice baked sweet potatoes, if you will. Uh, we like to make ours spicy in this household. Derek likes it more spicy than me. So I'll show you guys how we get there, but first we just need to cut all of this chicken up. The cool part about these specifically is that you can actually make these with any kind of meat. I really like making them with chicken, shredded chicken, diced chicken, but you can also make these with shrimp. You can make them with steak if you want to. I know in our house lately, we have been trying not to eat red meat, so that's why I'm making them with chicken. Um, if I had shrimp, I'd honestly make them with those because it's really, really good with shrimp too. But you can actually even make these with like fish if you wanted. Any kind of meat you guys want, just make sure that you're getting the dicing out of the way first because you want this to cook while you're preparing the rest of your ingredients. Okay, you guys, this is a judgment-free zone, so please do not judge the amount of butter that I put in this pan here. <laughs> but as you guys can see, I have some butter and some oil in my pan. I'm also going to add just a little bit, which is a lot, of minced garlic into my pan just to flavor this chicken up a little bit. I'll need you later, minced. And I am going to just slide all of this chicky licky into my pan and I'm going to forget about it for a little while and leave it on medium heat and let it cook while I chop up the rest of my ingredients for part three. As I am getting my veggies all washed and rinsed and my cutting board all rinsed and my knife all rinsed and ready to chop it up, I am gonna go over to my stove here and I'm gonna turn on my oven to 350 degrees and start it and make sure there's no shoes in here. Oh, Sophia, you guys, does anyone else use their oven and stuff for storage or just me? Now I'm going to get back to this. My chicken is cooking with the garlic, it's looking good. I'm gonna stir it here in just a second. My sweet potatoes are actually all done. They're nice and soft. If you guys have a microwave, it's so much easier in the microwave than putting it in the oven. Um, I just like to do it because it takes like eight minutes in the microwave where it takes like eight hours in the oven. So now I'm just going to chop all my vegetables up and see what's next. So first, you guys are gonna grab your cooked sweet potatoes here. That looks like your nose, babe. Okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> my boyfriend's here, by the way. Hi, guys. <laughs> so this is not the best surprise in the world. So my oven is preheated. Well, wait, I don't know what you're making though, babe. Okay, that's true. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Really? You yeah. can't tell? No, I have no idea. Okay, good. So you guys, uh, your cooked sweet potatoes, this is the most important part and it's kind of tricky. So you're gonna go ahead and cut these in half the long way, or hot dog style, for uh -huh. sure, some may say. And I'm gonna cut the other one too. So in total, you guys are gonna have four long, strong, hot boats. So. That sounds good, babe. <laughs> I still have no idea what you're making. So next, you guys are going to scoop. This is the tricky part. So you have to be really Here's careful with this. Here's the secret. Yes. Is, wait, wait, wait. Do you have a patent on this recipe? Yes, I do. Okay, because you don't want to give them all the secrets and not patent it. That's true. You can so buy her cookbook down below. Show the camera over there while I do the secret part. Okay. Okay, ready? Yeah. Okay, uh, it's not looking, it's not looking, okay. It's like Bush's baked beans, the secret ingredient. Okay. Okay, so basically you wanna scoop out some of the sweet potato, but not all of it because you still need to hold that structure. So you're gonna scoop out some of it and you're gonna put the sweet potato in a clean bowl. So you guys are gonna put the sweet potato in a bowl that you scoop out. And at the end of it, when you scoop out most of the sweet potato meat, it's going to look kind of like this. 
So it looks like a little canoe or a little shoe or like Derek's nose. Babe, I already used that joke. I know, one of the three. <laughs> so then you guys are gonna do that to the rest of the sweet potatoes and you're gonna put everything into this nice little bowl. Baby, this looks so good. What's this recipe called? This is called Sophia's Choo Choo Train. Sweet. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, because those are choo choo trains right there. Ah, they kind of yeah. look like it. Sophia's Sweet Choo Choo Train Ride. Sophia's Sweet Cinnamon Sniffles. <laughs> I do have the sniffles. Did you tell Miss for our anniversary, babe? Yes, I did. And you surprised me with a super dinner? Yes, baby, but you were gone with your side chick while I said that part. Well, <laughs> she was cooking too, babe. <laughs> and you guys, my chicken is almost done over here, so I'm going to add some of these little spices. What's that, paprika? Yes, this is paprika and lemon pepper. Just kidding, this is just roasted garlic Oh, pepper. that looks good, man. Thing is, you gotta get you a girl that can cook and go to the gym and stay fit and snuggle me because I'm a big bear. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so next, you guys, I'm going to spray a little pan here, a cookie sheet, is that what these are called? And I'm gonna put my sweet potato boats in a row all my ducks in a row here. Wow, those look good. And you can see they're kind of hollowed out, but they still have enough meat on them to hold like a little bit of meat in there, you know? Yeah, say meat again. Ha ha ha. You're so funny, baby. That's good. I love watching you cook. Ew. It makes me want to cook. Nothing, sir. What? You want me to cook for you, babe? So now I'm waiting for all of my chicken to get done. Okay. So it's almost done here. It's getting nice and brown. So this gives them a good chance to smash the like button if you guys want me to cook a dinner for my girlfriend. Cause I'm a really good cook. He doesn't, have you ever heard of salmonella? Because Derek doesn't know how to cook chicken correctly. And it really freaks me out. Baby, I'm the best, look, see, look, one thing she didn't know, I turned the microwave light on, now look how much better her chicken looks. Okay, It's anyway. actually edible now. So while my chicken is getting done, I'm gonna take all of the sweet potato meat that I scooped out and I'm gonna add my fresh onion. Ooh, wow, that looks saucy. Hey babe, is sweet potato meat? Cause you keep on saying that, now I want meat. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. Hey babe, is the secret to cooking Yeezys? The secret is to cook looking as good as I do and then your food will come out super good. Ooh, okay I'm babe. a little sick. <laughs> so I'm gonna add my onion, I'm gonna add my tomato to the sweet potato, a little casserole that I have going on in this bowl. And I'm gonna add the serranos last cause I don't like serranos on mine, but Derek likes serranos on his. Another Spicy. really yummy thing that you guys can add to this is jalapenos. I just don't have any because Derek's jalapeno my business. Babe, don't so. say my joke, please. <laughs> so can I say I a joke real quick? Sure. Okay. So what do you guys call a nosy pepper? Sorry, I just got back from the gym lifting really heavy. What do you call a nosy pepper? Jalapeno business. <laughs> okay. Okay, back to you, Tom. So basically, I'm just putting everything in this little bowl with the sweet potatoes, okay. with wow. the onion, and I am not putting the serranos in because that goes last. Because Derek likes more spicy stuff than me. Baby, we get it, I'm Latino. No, you're not. <laughs> I'm a lovely Latino. Okay, so this is what it kind of looks like, a nice paprika. It kind of oh, looks like man, pico de gallo. So I know, it's really nice and colorful. You want your food to be colorful, that means that you're doing something right. Well, that means veggies are present. Yes. Me, I'm actually, um, a vegetarian. Okay. <laughs> Cross contamination. <laughs> For my anniversary gift, I asked Derek to get me bigger mixing bowls, but he declined. Just kidding. <laughs> so I am just adding this chicken into my little mixture here and stirring it. Oh, okay. Harley! Stirring it up. What do you mean, Harley? In my tiny bowl. No, babe. I'm sorry. Okay. And I'm gonna put these in these little boats. So which one? That's the secret. Which ones do you want, babe? Okay, I just want to see this real quick. Wow, those look amazing, babe. So what's the secret again? The secret is, besides looking as good as me, is having a nice family <laughs> that really loves and appreciates your cooking every day, and just honestly happiness. Okay, babe. <laughs> Are you a motivational speaker? Who is your favorite? Let me get a shot of those bad boys. Okay. The small one is definitely yours. Do that, guys. That's how you know you have a girlfriend that matters. Okay. <laughs> Who's kidding? Wow. Look at that bowl. So, basically, I have a lot left over here, so I like to add this on the plate around the sweet potato bowls when we're done. But before we do that, I'm going to add the Serranos to Derek's two oh, boats. Yes. So these are Derek's, the ones that are extra green. And I'm going to add 
a little tiny bit of this chili garlic sauce that I showed you guys earlier. Make it spicy, baby. Yeah, she it's knows Derek's. me way too well. I'm gonna give you your gift later, baby. <laughs> what is it? It's a surprise. Okay. Yeah. So let me show. Let me get a closer of this real quick. Wow. Look at this, guys. This is amazing. Oh my! Look at all the colors on it. Onions, serranos. And then hers are plain Jane. No, okay. But you know, I got. Oh God, this is good. I can't. Can I eat mine now, babe? No. So, the best part is cheese. Because oh. we like cholesterol in our family. So, mind you guys, this is actually really healthy. I added a little butter to the pan, but that's really all. Is that the going vegan on. cheese? This is not vegan cheese, but it is from Sprouts, which makes me feel better about myself. Oh, yeah, it's whole grain. So, <laughs> whole grain cheese. This is the best part. You guys can add more cheese at the end, too. Do you but bake I'm it? Just adding this. Oh, honey, you know I do. Oh, that's my girl. So, I am going to pop this in the oven that is already preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Hey, babe, maybe sometime you might have something in your oven mm -hmm. and we might have cook up a little baby. Okay. Anyways, you guys, right now I'm drinking some wine and that's not a thing. So, I put these in the oven. Get a shot of those in the oven, babe. Okay, let's see these in the oven, babe. Wow. Those are nicely set in the oven. And make sure you guys have an oven with the oven light. It helps you to work on the posture of your food. <laughs> See that? Yeah, that's nice. Okay. Okay. Like my so girlfriend's posture. Show me your back, babe. That's my girlfriend's posture. She's shaped like a doorknob. Okay, so I am going to wait for those to cook for about 10 minutes. I never set a timer because I'm Italian, and Italians don't set timers. <laughs> Just kidding. Ready? Yes, babe. I'm so excited. Oh, oh look at Let me get a shot of those bad, bad boys. boys. <laughs> oh my gosh, babe, you're amazing. I know. These wow. smell so good, you guys. That that chili garlic sauce smells so good. I might actually put some of that on mine. If you guys like it really spicy, add serranos, add chili garlic sauce. Oh, so good. Babe, now for the most exciting part. Can you please put the sour cream, please? Okay, so I'm going to place these on Derek's plate because, and also, you guys do not use your hands. I just do this because I'm really skilled and I have no feeling left in my hands. So I'm gonna put these <laughs> on my plate. That was funny, babe. I know, really yeah. funny. Comedian, look me up. Okay. So I am gonna add this. Make sure you guys add all your chicken that you have left over to the little leftover mix here because you can add this onto the side of your man's plate or your woman's plate and make it look extra pretty on the sides here. As you see, the carnivore has more meat. Yes. We don't eat red meat, but we And this eat. was, like it, it, like Sorry. you guys saw, <laughs> this was only two boneless, skinless chicken breasts, and I actually didn't even use it all. So this really isn't that much meat. It just kind of looks like it. But make sure you guys just spoon it on there. Oh, so good. Wait till you get the, oh, the cream cheese. To, <laughs> <laughs> to top it off, you guys, grab your cilantro here and just sprinkle it, it looks so nice with that cilantro. Just light oh. sprinkle guys, like you're sprinkling salt and pepper. Yes. Not too much or else you're gonna have a cactus. I like <laughs> I like to add a little bit of garlic salt at the end here too. I'm only using this because, and pinching it because I broke this and I like don't have the top for it. So I'm just sprinkling a little bit of garlic salt. This is optional, you guys can use Lori's garlic salt, anything just really salty. <laughs> Lori's or Lowry's, tomato, tomato. Yeah, what do you, what do you say? I said Lowry's because wow. I'm from I'm from the South. You're not. So, <laughs> last but not least, I'm gonna rinse this spoon off because cross contamination is a real problem in the United States. And I'm going to spoon a little bit of sour cream on the top of this. I have actually seen people use cream cheese like you joked about before, but if you guys are real sour cream lovers, babe. Harley wants one, babe. Okay, baby. Sometimes your dog, your dog can eat with you at the same table. Sorry. Yeah, no. So go ahead and put a dollop of sour cream on each boat. That looks like more than a dollop, but I'll take it, babe. Ooh, so good. It's light. The crazy know? thing is I'm lactose intolerant, so my girlfriend's so lucky to have me. So you guys can also add on the top a little bit of chopped avocado. I don't want any avocado. You want avocado on no, yours? I'm we both had a full avocado today, so we're good on our saturated fats. Just kidding. Our healthy fats. So I think I'm good on the avocado, but that is an option. You guys can cut one of these up and put it on top as well. But have a look, babe. This is the final product? This is it. Oh my God. You guys, your man, your wife, your kids, everybody is gonna love this dish. It's so easy, that was they're, so quick. They're actually good to make on Thanksgiving something besides dry turkey. Yeah. So, and also if you guys wanna bring them to baseball games and soccer fields. I was telling them we've had these with shrimp, we've had these with oh, yeah. turkey, ground turkey, you could have these with any kind of And meat. also you can have them vegan too. 
with tofu. Yeah, or you can have this with vegetables, vegetarians, Very true. vegs. We like to add a little bit of hot sauce on the top and enjoy. And Harley has them with dog food too, my Harley. Okay, baby, that was amazing. Thanks. I'm gonna marry you one day. Baby, this looks amazing! If you guys want to see more cooking, leave a comment below what you guys want to see. If you yes, want to see please. vegan recipes, if you guys want to see a lot of tofu on my channel, if you guys want to see Italian recipes from Sicily, mm, or some yum. of my specialties. If you guys enjoyed this, this is a healthy, quick meal you guys can make for your families. So let me know what you guys want to see below, and enjoy your dinner. That could be my outro. Oh yeah, it could be outro. Say it again. <laughs> enjoy your dinner. That's so good. Okay guys, I'm Sophia's boyfriend. This is my first time doing a taste test on her specialty din to her dish. Get a big old bite. Don't lie, baby, how is it? Baby, this feels like a surprise. A surprise. <laughs> no, it tastes like a surprise meal that you finally realize that you never knew existed. Mm -hmm. and it makes me feel so happy when I take a bite. I want to buy your cookbook down below in the description. Just kidding. <laughs> no, it's really good, babe. I love it so much. Yay. You're the best girlfriend ever. I can't wait to cook for you. Love you. I belong, I belong to you. I belong, I belong to you.